Hey guys, Brian with Phone Arena here, and we're going to do a little video comparison of the Motorola Photon 4G and the HTC Evo 3D. Taking a quick look around the hardware, you can see they're both very similar sized devices. They both have 4.3 inch QHD displays. In terms of quality, we find the Motorola to be a little bit better. They're both very good, but the Motorola pops a little bit more, colors are more vivid. Uh, the viewing angle on both of them is... Uh, a little bit better on the Motorola compared to the HTC and colors are just more true they're a little bit washed out on the HTC as well so definitely the advantage goes to the Motorola on that one however as the name would imply the Evo 3D has the 3D capabilities so if you're into 3D movies pictures things of that nature then that's gonna have something that the Motorola cannot match Moving around the hardware, we're going to find very similar layout. We've got volume rockers and camera keys on both sides. Of course, the Evo 3D has that 3D, 2D switch. On the sides of the Evo, we've got just the single micro USB port. We've got the micro USB and micro HDMI on the Photon. However, the Evo does that all through one port, so they both have the same capabilities. Power button and headset jack up at the top, and speakers, or excuse us, microphones down at the bottom. Four capacitive buttons, of course, since it's Android, they are laid out differently, although not too bad, it's just menu and home that are switched for these. Looking at the back, the cameras are very prominent. We're going to take a look at the Photon first. We've got an 8 megapixel camera, which as you can see has HD video, records in 720p, not 1080. We also have a kickstand, something that the Evo 4G pioneered, but the Evo 3D does not have. Very nice feature, we like it. We're told by Motorola that it was actually designed to be used both this way and this way, which makes sense because with the ports up here, if you put it in your traditional way that you would think, those ports are going to be covered and you can't charge it. So be nice to uh, have that a little bit more logical, but it does work in both ways it's very sturdy and push down on it and it's going to stand up back of the evo here we've got the textured back uh, we also have the of course evo red ring around the 3d cameras they're twin 5 megapixel with a dual led flash in 2d only one of these cameras fires in 3d both of them fire to give you that 3d effect so both hardware is really good even though they're giant black slabs it's kind of unique how HTC and Motorola can both kind of put their stamp on it this one definitely is an HTC device when you look at it this one with a little bit more angular lines a little more, more aggressive all around is uh, definitely Motorola so good to see their design teams hard at work both of these devices run Android 2.3 the Photon has 2.3.4 Whereas the Evo 3D has 2.3.3, though it doesn't really make a difference because neither of them can do the Google Chat which is uh, with video, which is one of the differences between 2.3.4 for some devices. So looking around, this is a modified version of Motorola Blur. You've got the Motorola widgets. However, you don't have the Motorola bottom down here. These are thankfully swap outable, so if we want to change and put something else there, we can. So that gives us little customization. The app drawer, of course, is going to stick with the app drawer. Some nice little touches like all your apps. You can also categorize your apps. And you have a direct market link right from there as well. Um, but kind of stock Android, kind of not. Uh, just a little blend enough that hopefully it doesn't push back any software updates. HTC, on the other hand, has their fantastic Sense 3.0 interface on here. We're going to start with the lock screen. As you can see, we have the really cool weather animation. There are different options. We can have stock. We can have plain. Um, so some, some different choices to personalize. The little ring at the bottom will unlock it. However, you can see our four icons, which we set. And from the home screen, we can just drag them into the ring and launch them directly from there. So if I want to go right to the web, I don't have to actually unlock the phone. Other nice features of Sense 3.0, it's a little bit more... Fluid, as you can see, a nice really rotating carousel there as we flick quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. It keeps up with us really well. A um, lot of personalization options. Um, HTC's always been good with this, but we're getting more and more. So you can see you have the skin, you have your wallpaper, you have your lock screen that we were talking about. 
With HTCSense.com, if you have an account there, you can actually download new widgets, new screens, new wallpapers, um, new programs. So all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, the widgets, of course, are skin to HTC liking, so everything looks very cohesive, which is something we really like. HTC really takes their skin seriously. It's more of a, an interface replacement because it goes all the way through the UI. Something we don't typically see on other devices, or they just kind of do a poor job of skinning the standard Android interface, whereas HTC adds a lot of functionality, adds a lot of beauty, and really does a great job with their interface. Both of these phones run a variation of the stock Android browser, but they're both very good. The HTC one's a little bit better, a little bit smoother with everything. Uh, page loads tend to be faster. So you can see we have our website up here. Everything's moving nice and quickly. We can zoom in, zoom out, double tap, pinch to zoom, no issues. The Motorola one, just quite isn't finished loading. We actually let this sit here for about a minute or so. We're on Wi-Fi with both of them, so there's no reason that they should, and there it finally goes. But we actually loaded our page twice on the HTC device because we accidentally backed out in the time that this took. So the page was pretty much up and running. It's just that last little bit. As you can see, it's still very smooth with the zoom. So very quick with the flip and everything. So not much of a difference, but slight advantage performance to the HTC. And that can probably be chalked up to the better processor and the better graphics on the Evo 3D. It does run a dual core uh, Generation 3 Snapdragon. It's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. Um, the stock version of it is actually 1.5, so it's underclocked a little bit. And it also has the Adreno 220 GPU, which is the best on the market right now. Whereas the Motorola Photon has the Tigra 2 chipset, so nothing to sneeze about. It's a 1 gigahertz dual core with the GeForce graphics, so lots of power in both of these devices, but the HTC is just a little bit newer and a little bit more up-to-date with the Qualcomm chip in there. Taking a quick look at the music players on both of these devices, Motorola has the more comprehensive one for sure. As you can see when we load it, we have some suggested YouTube videos, internet radio stations, songs, and then down here we also have you know our library, internet radio, podcasts, and the FM radio, which needs the headset to work. So we'll go over to Now Playing and continue our song. As you can see up at the top, it's recommending songs. You can flip through these different songs. Sometimes news stories will come up here. There we go, recommended news. So Motorola does a pretty good job of bringing everything together, making this a lot more personal experience. Um, both of the phone have, phones have DLNA, DLNA capabilities, so we're able to stream this to other DLNA devices. Looking at HTC's music player, nothing really new here. We've seen this in the past, but still pretty good. Um, nice, large, big uh, album art. We have our options for the um, down here, music, artists, playlists, genres, composers, all that kind of stuff. So nothing groundbreaking with either of these music players. The Motorola one definitely is a lot more comprehensive, a lot more personal. So we give that the advantage there. Um, however, neither of these support Google Music Beta, which means you can't stream from the cloud on either of them. Same thing with the Amazon MP3 store if you use that for cloud streaming. So something to be said about that capability. In the end, it's really going to come down to personal preference with these two devices. You're not going to go wrong with either of them, however. The HTC offers a much better interface in our opinion. The Sense 3.0 uh, really adds something to Android which is rare for a manufacturer skin, but they do a great job with that. It's also just slightly faster because of that better processor, better graphics chip in there. So we're not talking much. The average user probably won't even notice it with the Photon, but every now and again there's a little hiccup, little stutter. So just not quite as quick and we like what HTC has to offer on top of the stock Android experience here. So 3D of course is a niche feature. Some people like it, some people hate it, some people don't care about it and they just bought the device because it's blazingly fast. Battery life was good on both of them. Call quality was excellent on both of them. Uh, the Photon gets a little bit of the edge on the battery. The Evo gets a little bit of the edge on the call quality. So really not too much to separate these two devices. They're both the same price, they both are top of the line, they both have really good hardware, really good software, they both have their advantages. So in the end, it's going to come down to what you want out of the device. For our money, we're going to go with Evo 3D, just because it is a little bit faster, offers some extra things. Even if you don't care about the 3D, it's something nice to have. But 
can't fault you for going with the Photon 4G as well.